Seeds by Seeds. My name is Celia Murray, and the purpose of this channel is to drop seeds of knowledge as it relates to faith, family, and finance. Today, we will be diving into discussing prayer. People are requesting prayer. What is prayer? Why do we pray? How do we know our prayer is being answered? Are there hindrance to our prayer? We're going to discuss those things today. No prayer, no power. Little prayer, little power. Great prayer, great power. So what is prayer? Prayer is open communication with God and our total being, our mind, our heart, our body, our soul, our spirit, communicating, fellowship, praise, worship, thanksgiving, making our petitions known. That's what prayer is. Intimate time, listening, daily prayer and meditation will increase our faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It is impossible to please God without faith. We must go to God believing that he is the reward of those who diligently seek him. We must believe. Let me share with you uh, something before we go any further. Several years ago, when I lived in the Florida area, I was a part of the prison ministry team. And on Saturdays, I would go with my team to um, a particular uh, correction facility. This particular Saturday, I decided that I was going to breakfast and then I was going to the beach. Got in my car, I was driving to where I thought I was going to go and I realized that I was headed towards the correction facility. And I immediately said, God, you know that you're funny. This was not going to be my Saturday. I was not going to the um, facility to that, that particular day. And I looked at my clock and I said, I'm going to be late. If I go and I'm late, I can't get in. So I'm having this conversation with God. I'm just saying, you know, they're not going to let me in. And so, but I'm still driving there. And once I arrived, I was 20 minutes late. I ran across the long parking lot. And uh, when I got inside, all of the people from the various uh, ministry, church ministries, they were still in the lobby. And I was surprised because it was late. They, Someone called over to me and said, Celia, we're glad you're here. We want you to pray before we go up. Yep. So the guard um, scanned me. I went through and I asked them, I said, why are you guys still here? And they said, well, they are training someone new and um, she's learning the process. She's having a little bit of uh, challenges with the system. And I said, oh, okay. I prayed. And the various churches, they know which units they're going to go to. I was talking to one of the ladies that I had uh, from the other church because my church wasn't there. And I had said, I'm going to, can I go up with you guys? And they said, yeah. So we were all set. The guard came and he said, we have one unit that's requesting someone and who's going to go to that, that particular unit? Someone said, Celia will go. So I said, well, okay. And once I got up to that particular unit, I uh, informed the guard to uh, make the announcement that I was there. He said, I don't think anyone is going to come. So I said, okay. So he, um, he buzzed me into the room where I was going to have the service. And I took down, their chairs were stacked. I took down 11 chairs and put them in the circle. 
I sat in one of the chairs and I began to pray. I opened my eyes and I looked through the glass doors and I saw that there were women waving, waiting to come in with their Bibles. I was so excited. They came in and once they sat down and they needed extra chairs because I didn't take down enough overflow, I told them, I said, guess what? It was not in my plans to be here today. I planned on doing something else. I said, I was driving, thought I was going one place, but the Lord led me there. And I told them that God had a word for them. We had a wonderful service. And I thank God for the opportunity and I thank him for using me. When we pray, our prayers can go to places that we'll never go to. Our prayers will impact people that we'll never encounter. Prayer is powerful. And God has given us the ability, the gift to come directly to his throne in prayer. The Bible tells us in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14 and 6. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 33 and 3 to call upon him. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Therefore, we must repent. We must repent of our sins. We must forgive. We must walk in love. I encourage you to rise early before anyone else and spend 15 minutes in prayer. Prayer, meditation, um, I would suggest um, a devotional. This will help. This will help you to get started a devotional. If you're not familiar with reading the Bible, there's many tools that's out there that can help you to get familiar with reading the Bible. He told us to pray without ceasing. Pray in the morning. Pray in the noonday. Pray at night. Teach the children to pray as well. I want to read a scripture. And it is found in the book of Romans. Romans chapter, it's a familiar scripture. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and verse 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shall believe in thy heart that God has risen him from the dead, thy shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Let's recap. And for those of you who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I want you to repeat after me. Father God, I believe that Jesus died for my sins and he has risen. I am a sinner. I repent right now. I want to live for you. Come into my heart. If you've said those words, welcome to the body of Christ. I will see you soon. God bless you and keep you.